Hello. Badoo. <laughs> it's been at least three years since we talked, man. Actually crazy. That's that's a long time. That's a long time. Very long time. I was trying to ask some of my friends for a few more questions last night, and they could not come up with anything sensible because Eclipse and must say funny things to Eclipse. Classic. Uh, but I did end up talking to Lily, uh, if you remember Lily. Nope. That is Paragon's ex-girlfriend. Oh. The one who originally saw your... Um, stream afk screen i think it was and she was like i hate this and she tried to get paragon to message you to change it i, I don't remember that she was like i made eclipse i'm the whole reason paragon talked to him and it's just yeah <laughs> right <laughs> that's you know before we even get started i think that's it, it feels almost like a uh an arrogant to say thing to say but I always think it's funny when there's people that like have drama with me or something and then they'll say something and it's it's honestly like a huge part of of just myself and my fucking awful memory. Like I just don't remember things. <laughs> yeah, it's like so it's somebody like, will do something. Uh, yeah, you? somebody will do something like to me or like say something to me and then they'll it'll like they'll like they'll reside on that for like years. And then they'll be like, "Yeah, remember when you did this?" and I'll be like, uh, "Um yeah. No. Remember that time I saw you in SBR and I, <laughs> no, and I helped I you? Don't. Remember the time we teamed in SBR? Yeah, I'm the whole reason your entire channel blew up. The entire reason. Anyway, um, I'm going to start off with one of those more uh, funny things. And that's, did you know that Paragon has two right feet? No. <laughs> that uh, is surely Photoshop. <laughs> no, but... but it's funny to believe that he's got two right feet. <laughs> A lot of my views were actually correlated to how well your channel was doing. Which is really funny. So if you had a bad week, I had a bad week. If you had a if you had a good week, I had a good week. It was really stupid. I don't yeah. try to have good or bad weeks, so you're basically throwing <laughs> caution to the wind with that. Um, I would literally go on my phone and check, like, okay, let's see, how, let's see how close did this week. Oh shit, I'm gonna get no views. <laughs> or like, oh shit, yeah, it's a payday today. Oh, I'll try. I'll get into one of the questions because you know, we'll be here all day if I just talk about random crap. One that me and my friends did think of, um. I don't know, it's just, it's just bothered me this entire time, because I, I don't know if you know this, but I used to, um, when I was still banned on YB and I'd make videos on it, I used to put a overlay over my, my name, kind of like how you put the world over yours right now, and it would be a oh, yeah. perfect cutout of your username. <laughs> just, just, just oh, that was a pain in the dick. Oh, did you get banned? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so yeah, sorry. I was, you just reminded me, I was pissed. <laughs> I, was, I was not happy. I had to go to the YBA staff. And be like, this fucking asshole <laughs> is smooth is spoofing my name in his videos, and now my one of my alt accounts just got banned because of it. Yeah, I was trying to. Um, I was trying to. Yeah, that was fucked up, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. I was like trying to make people in the comments go, "Wait, did Eclipse lend me your account?" And then I, my friend, brought it up to me like one day and was like, "You know, you might, you might have got Eclipse's accounts banned." And I said, "Yeah, no, some Good some point. dumbass on the YBA staff." who I guess is, is not very well informed, uh, I tried to log in and I was banned. And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, we do a little minor amount of trolling. But um, I think you've explained this once, but it's, it's like wiped from my brain. Um, your username is Lee148, but your name is Matt. So why is it not Matt148? So, so the, the Lee148 thing is is a like an inside joke from, from some of my friends because... Mm. One of my friends back in high school, who I'm still friends with today, uh, had a YouTube channel, and it's it's like a whole can of worms opening that up because we'd always sort of rag on him because he had a YouTube channel and he played Roblox, uh, nowhere near the the stuff that I'm playing now, but he would play Roblox and and get a like a decent amount of views. Hmm. Um, but uh, a lot of my friends would like <laughs> make fun of him because. Uh, because, like, he'd play, like, obby games and stuff like that. And it's just sort of, like, bottom-of-the-barrel stuff. Mm. But he had a channel. Uh, and at the time, it was called uh, The Lee 144. Now, mind you, his name was not Lee. You also own that uh, account. My also. name. Lee my name is not Lee. Mm. I don't know where he got that name. I've never bothered to ask. But he was The Lee 144. Um, and so to mess with him, I made an alternate account. Because my, my main account... Uh, or my old main account that I used to use for everything was called Matt Army 555 which mm. has been in some videos. It's still my old ass username on some of my uh, other platforms. One year I was I was messing around uh, with him by making an alt account 
And then there was the egg hunt that year for Roblox. And I forgot to switch my account. And that was like, I think one of the first ones I actually did. And I have, I got the, that like admin egg that I still use. I might as well just keep using this one. So I basically just switched over to the other account and, and it's sort of, it's stuck. Yeah, and I know, uh, I know you have Robux on your account. I know, I know you've got them. And you refuse to put anything on that avatar. I know you have Robux. I have an egg on my avatar. I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess that's just the Eclipse staple at this rate. It doesn't really need to change, does it? I don't need to change my avatar. Real. I actually love my avatar because it's a, it's like a freak of nature. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the one thing, I, I will say the one thing I like about my avatar is that because it runs off of a whole bunch of stuff that people basically can't get, yeah, people can't kind of uh, like clone if you. someone sees me, they know immediately that it's my avatar, which I think is kind of cool. Yeah, like... me and Paragon did used to just play where back when he was like Alpha Cadet, like the username was Alpha Cadet, which he claims is not him, by the way, because it's got like loads of racist controversies behind it. It's not, not a big deal, right? Yeah, that's that's him. I don't yeah, really know why he thinks that. I'm not even gonna get into like, that. If you hover over his past usernames on Roblox, you can see it right there. Like it says, it says Alpha Cadet on his account. It's just directly there for everyone to see because i mean i know you don't like him but there's a lot of no, I, I know that he's him. had i i know that he's uh definitely done some questionable things especially a few years back um, he um he definitely gets but, on my nuts a little bit but other than that it's he's not but i mean what it really comes down to is there's a lot of situations when it comes to yba especially and dealing with the community where we run into the same snags like most recently with this stupid yba legacy bullshit yeah uh we're basically both getting just shit on constantly <laughs> for the last like however many days that that whole stuff's been been going down so i was it was actually sort of a, a non or a, a non factor segue here, but I put the thing out on Friday. I had to deal with all of the fallout and obnoxious shit, and eventually I was just like, I'm sort of gonna cut myself off from this. Um, so I, I stopped interacting with pretty much all of it that night. The next day, I didn't worry about it. I just uh i went to i don't know how much you know about my personal life but i went to do color guard i was there for 12 yep. hours i came back the first thing that i logged on was to see was paragon's little message you're probably banned from the uh the yba discord shortly but the first thing i did was i logged on and i saw a, a message and i think it was the sub announcements saying mm -hmm. that they specific from paragon saying they specifically are not going to ban me from the game, which I don't give a fuck. Like, yeah, <laughs> they I mean, could ban me. But it's sort of like it's the, nice the statement least, you know? that counts. But it's like, they're not going to ban me from the game. They support the video that I made when it comes to stolen stuff. And not only that, but if you want a, a game that is, like, close to old YBA but not stolen, uh, then play TCA instead and then put, like, a link to the game and, and an invite link. And that was such a, like, such a small thing to do but just after dealing with so much of the bullshit from the last 24 hours, having that be the thing that I logged back onto was such a such a nice gesture, you mm. know? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, also, like, YBA server's huge, so the amount of publicity TCA should get from that, you know, hopefully helps it. I, I was going to ask, is that crazy adventure currently better or worse than your bizarre adventure? And where would you claim TCA standing is? Do we think it's better or worse? Well, I think it depends on what it's it's hard to to explain because at face value a lot of people are like well tca is is a yba coin yada 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 but i think there's so many differences on on like a a sort of back end level mm. like even uzu has, has said it himself uh yba is a is a spaghetti code disaster there's oh, so God, much broken well. shit and like stuff that just doesn't really function very well and people have argued with me about a lot of this and i don't really know why but like one of the big things that has that has always bothered me with yba um is that their hitboxes are a fucking train wreck they always have been they were a train wreck from the beginning they're still a train wreck now i think they've attempted to change them it has not worked but there's some weird thing that they do with their hitboxes where it's like tied to your stand model. And let's just say that there's a very good reason why there's no show hitboxes in YBA. Functional standpoint, I think it's a lot better uh, mm. than any point in TCA or, or YBA. 
But I think YBA definitely edges it out in terms of stuff to do and content wise, because we still don't have a whole lot of stands. Now, there's a fair few, but not like a whole lot. Yeah, like we want to get more like just overall kind of. Things, yeah, we yeah. want to get more specs. We want to get more game modes, like all that stuff. And that stuff is the things that they've had a time edge on, as well as a money edge. Like, when you have more money, you can pay for more stuff and, and get things out more quickly. Or you could be Uzu and get a bunch of money and do nothing with it. You could definitely uh, so I think... um, recode YBA Steelable Run in two to three days, because I have, I have remade that, and it isn't the hardest to do. So. We have, I, I won't talk about it at length, uh, but there are a lot of plans for TCA Steelable Run, and it is... Ideally, if the things that we want to get done are done, it will be hands down the best steel ball run anywhere on on any game. Like an like actual race, just... hopefully. Mm. Maybe, maybe a bit Sorta. of racing. Maybe a little bit of racing. Sorta, maybe. Because you know, for for a racing game mode, there's quite a lack of racing in YBA. Um, yeah, well, do... you, let's just say you're going to be able to do a lot, including race. Yeah, that's, um, that's all I can say. This kind of brings me on to another thing I wrote down, and that's, uh, I, I, I did write down this, and that's that I haven't actually played TCA uh, since they added six pistols. So I don't really know what's in this new update, but I did see, obviously, your video, so I have visual, uh, I have, what is it, like, I, I, I guess I've visually seen what the update does, but I haven't actually tried it. Um, it looks good, but it's a shame that TCA doesn't really get the same players as YBA. And I was thinking that maybe they could potentially add some Jujutsu Kaisen characters to TCA to gain some interest. Ah, big brain man over here. I'm thinking we get, we we go with Gojo. I think that's 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 the idea. 10k players tonight. <laughs> players Put tonight. in Gojo. Problem solved. Yep. A million players. Add Gojo. Add add Su uh, Sukuna. Infinite players. We got it. <laughs> yeah, you know, not a not a bad idea, my not friend. Bad Unfortunately. I have mostly bad news on that I mean, we, we already have some weird stuff like Brick Battle. Like, I could imagine maybe something... Maybe there Jujutsu are related? some stuff in the works that are Jujutsu Kaisen related, but awesome. um, that's I, I don't think that's a, a huge leak, because I think that's been talked about before. Yeah. But um, uh, nothing, nothing like adding a Gojo thing or, or anything like that. I mean, there is one. There's a mod spec, but not not anything you can use uh funnily, uh funnily enough you did say that uh gold experience requiem's ability in tca was something you'd never seen in a game before but technically you've played a game that has that exact feature in it you just wouldn't oh see yeah it. what's that that's your adventure what uh there's a mod spec called return by death which is based on natsuki subaru from re-zero and it does that exact thing it resets your your health it back resets to your, yeah a to a point? certain point in time yeah because his power in re-zero which my profile picture is also re-zero um is that when he dies, he goes back in time. So it resets everybody to where they were back in time. Oh, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, it's... I didn't know that. And he could easily rework his golden experience to use that instead overnight if Uzuki wanted to. But... You pretend as if yeah. Uzu gives a flying fuck about YVA right now. <laughs> Speaking about Uzuki not giving game. a flying fuck. So Uzuki recently released a trailer for Eternal Battlegrounds. Yeah. Although you have commented on it, I have seen the beautiful statement you have made. Could you give me further insight as to what you mean, like as to what you think about it and how Not it will affect really. YBA? Going on I I haven't made a video on it for a reason. Um, yeah. I was going to. Uh, I I was gonna make a video. I was gonna. That was probably gonna come out like two weeks ago. Like pretty much right after it came out, I made the comment and I was like, all right, I'm gonna. Of course, I'm gonna make a video on this because everyone expects me to. But it just got to the point where it was like nothing I can say in this video matters like it's meaningless uh, i could i could make the video but you'd be hearing all the same things that that i've pretty much already said and so all i can really do is reiterate what i said in that youtube comment is the eternal battlegrounds game is is proof of what happened in the like six months between sticky fingers and the last update uzu was working on that and he wasn't working on yba he lied i i will just comment he lied in his video on what Eternal Battlegrounds, saying that uh, YBA updates were not affected by the Eternal Battlegrounds development, there yeah. is a like a two percent chance that that is true. I don't know why he lied about that. I don't see the point. He stands literally nothing to gain. If anything, it would have been infinitely better for him 
to just say, I wasn't working on YVA and was working on this, and that's why things took so long. But by lying, he's either, number one, lying about it, or number two, he's telling the truth. And that means that the complete, like, unsubstantial waste of time that was the Sticky Fingers YBA update really did take them six months to make. <laughs> and that's fucking embarrassing. Yeah. There's I mean... like, that's the, TCA puts out an update like that in two weeks. Yeah, Like, you stuff. can't, you make millions of dollars. You can't. The video I did uh, a while ago, again, it got piss poor views, but I was explaining it to you, uh, what I wanted to do with it, and then I realized I couldn't actually make that much gameplay to be able to do a 1v1. Um, but I did mention it to you, and it's the JoJo game I made in a week. Uh, oh, prove, yeah, 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 yeah. To I prove that I was that. able to uh, do it. And I was able to, not only, me as someone who doesn't model, had very low experience in modeling, someone who has very, very low experience in uh, animating, very low experience in VFX making, all, everything, right? Except for scripting and a few other things. Um, I was able to make a full Star Platinum model, and quite, a, that's quite, not all the moves, but the basic moves that go on a stand, like a heavy punch, barrage, clicks, blocks, uh, a star finger, uh, a nice stand menu, you know, health bars, running, dashing, Everything, right? Everything that makes the game. In, well, technically, Star Platinum took a little longer, and I, I definitely spent too much time con uh, contemplating, but it did take me about four days. And I was, I was able to make a whole JoJo game. Entire JoJo game. That, and the thing that you, like, you know this, but yeah. for anyone who's watching who doesn't know, and the things you have to consider, is the things that take the longest when it comes to game development are new systems that you have to create. Every time you have to create a new system, that's going to take forever. But if you're coding effectively, and this is coming from someone who just has an understanding and doesn't actually do it themselves, but I know this. Uh, if you're coding effectively, you create systems and then can reuse those systems. So like, for the things on Sticky Fingers especially, there's not a whole lot of stuff there that isn't already, like, already has groundwork or moves that are extremely similar where you can just reuse the code from things that you've already made change values and stuff like that so from a coding perspective the longer that your game is out and the more stuff that you have and code base that you have to work with the less time that these things should take not the more time like mm. for tca as an example the reason that a lot of our recent stuff has taken longer than it probably otherwise should is because all of them work off of completely new systems. So for Gold Experience Requiem, we didn't have any hit scan projectiles in the game. So Life Beam had to be its own system. Yep. Uh, we didn't have, we had some damage over time things, but most of them were tied to like burning and poison. And so the Vigor Strike move, which puts ants on your body and does damage over time, had to be a new system. The return to zero system, where you get your health back, had to be a new system. And there had to be another system on top of that new system to show you how much health you were going to get back. So, like, when you couple all the... And Silver Chariot just came out yesterday, and that's got this thing that has uh, a mode where your moves hit twice and they decrease cooldowns. We don't have that anywhere else. So that's a new system. So that's mm. why things can sometimes take longer... Than, than they otherwise would. And it's also why, if you go back and look at YBA's old weekly updates, which people are only so praiseworthy of, you'll notice that like 80% of those stands, they'll have three, four clone moves, and then one move that actually works off of something that's unique, as well as reusing animations pretty much in the entirety of the move set, aside from maybe one or two things. Mm. Uh, funny little fact, I just want to throw it there as well. Uh, did you know that when TCA called Gold Experience Requiem's ability uh, return by, what is it, um, return to zero, uh, that's copied from YBA in the sense of YBA copied that word from ReZero as well. So I, I, I've just worded that in the worst way possible, but YBA got the word, uh, the name for the move return to zero from return by death from um, ReZero starting life in another world, right? When the actual move's name is called Requiem's ability. So oh, yeah, <laughs> we it, have a Requiem's yeah. ability. So it, <laughs> it's it, the counter. It really pisses me off because every game now calls it Return to Zero when it's not Return to Zero. It's Requiem's ability. Which is, I had yeah. never even considered that. That's funny. So yeah, it's, it's based on Return by Death because originally the code was meant to be the Return by Death mod spec he made. I'm not too knowledgeable about the newest YBA update, right? But from what I know, Uzuki teased multiple things 
that didn't appear in the update, such as the ranked rework, SBR rework, and so on. I don't know what else is there. But how do you feel about this, and where do you think Uzuki's Broken Promises will lead? I don't care anymore. Uh, <laughs> that's really what it comes down to. I just don't give a shit. I, I'm having fun like playing the things that I actually want to play. TCA, I actually I like playing, so yeah. that's been nice. It's good. But, like... Uzu has has learned some from his mistakes. He, he teased a bunch of crap, but he never actually promised anything. He just said Sticky Fingers is coming, and he delivered that. So, uh, um... Now, mind you, for the like two three months before the update came out, he was teasing the Ilvar Run rework. He was teasing the one v one rework. Uh, are those things in the game? No, because he was probably working on them, and then said actually fuck this i'm gonna go work on my battlegrounds game mm. I, I guarantee you that's what happened <laughs> but it, at the end of the day what does it mean for me nothing because like yeah i i'm, I mean, you don't I'm, play YBA. I'm out i don't play, <laughs> like, I, don't play YBA. I don't play yba you don't play yba i mean i think everyone's just kind of left at this right there's you know the only people left now are just kids that think their skins are worth something um so i guess my next question is kind of bad and that's uh Yorba's Adventure is getting an SBR rework, something which is probably not needed, but regardless, what would you like to see from the rework that would grab your attention? You know, really well, you get you kind of said it yourself. Yeah. It's not needed. Not um, I, I've, I've not, said maybe. this a bunch. I think that if they did a rework, there would there could be some cool stuff that they could do with it. I don't really give a shit, as is clear, but... Re-enable time stuff um, on the bridge. I think there's... There's a lot of there's a lot of cool stuff that they could do with it, mm. um, but I think based on their track record of taking things that people like, deleting them, and then making something unrecognizable in its place, that's probably what they would do. They would probably yeah. take the current thing, which like people say they don't like, they're lying, because mm. um, people are still playing it. Like everyone loves to say that SBR sucks and it's like the worst mode and it's unplayable. I think it's really and yet it really always has mode, an active yeah. player base. It's a really like, unique. It, mode. it is. Yeah, people do like it. They just it's uh, SBR reminds me a lot of Tarkov, where yeah. everyone says this sucks and then logs back on. Yeah, so, I like, hate the blinding you can say it sucks, but play. you're still playing it. So I don't. I don't think it it needs one. Um, but that's yeah. That's basically all I have to say about it. <sighs> I mean, the only thing I would probably change is just, I hate that they limit you at the end of the bridge, because I remember, you know, people having specific builds, I guess, to yeah, capsulize that's lame. that bridge. It used to be like the Wild West, now you can't do shit. Yeah, I think, um, like, TCA, if they're really going for a similar, not a similar, like, exact same mode, but, like, a similar mode, give people that freedom. Give them give them that sandboxy creativity, because if you say it's well, meta, that's... eventually a new meta will come around, you know? Eventually yeah, well, that's one of the things that I sometimes I have to argue with, like, testers and stuff about um behind the scenes is i take the stance of limitations as little as possible so like we have a few limitations on things like time stop and time acceleration just because mm. it's one of those things where you can't really fix it but it's oh, you, too you broken totally, to you be can left totally alone fix time stop. I've, I've had this balance philosophy in my head forever i have made tons of games that have this balance philosophy and time stop is completely playable and completely like perfect and nobody does it make them have the canon lengths just give star platinum the world right two second time stop it is still fun and it's balanced. It is trust me. Well, that's it is still. Well, fun. that's the thing. Some of them, some of them do. So, like, I think mm. the world is is five seconds, like it's supposed to be. But yeah. even and and it's also oh, got. Uh, I think it's got like half damage on it. Yeah. So, like, it it's it's fine. But the problem is that when you take that and you make it so that way, if you land a singular ragdoll move, the opponent just has to sit there and watch you do it. I that's mean... fucking lame. So at that point, the basically the only option aside from locking it behind bars and and all that nonsense which we don't want to do so we haven't been uh is it's basically the nuclear option but the point is trying to trying to remove or avoid limits as much as possible in terms of locking people's moves is is generally a thing that um Can avoid yeah that's a yeah aut recently had an update and i think all the budget went into the trailer but that's just me right <laughs> Anyways, my question is, do you think Sakura Stand has finally surpassed AUT as a better game? I don't know. I've actually gotten a lot of crap for the, the AUT stuff that I've said, probably by people who like to gamble. But yeah. I've gotten a lot of stuff where people have told me that the progression isn't really that bad, and it's really easy to grind these things. 
And I don't know if a lot of those people really have the understanding of the principle behind it. Grinding is not fun. Less so than, like, the actual numbers themselves. Mm. Like, it, I don't really, like, care if it takes less time to get something. You still have to grind, and that's just... If you yeah. still have to go through, like, levels of RNG, and it's so clear that those things that they added, like, what? why did they need to do that? Like, why did they feel the need to do that? And the only answer that comes to my mind Money. is... They don't care, they just want to make money. Yep. Which granted, as I said in my video, if that's the point where they're at, especially after reworking the game over and over and over again, if eventually they landed on, we can't please anyone, we might as well cash out. Good for them. Like, you know, good for them. You good for them. Good yeah, for if they want to make money doing that, good for them. But from me, I can't, like, support that, obviously. But I'm also not going to... It's the same thing that I said about the Eternal Battlegrounds thing. Is It's like, that's where I tap out. It gets to the point where it's like, okay, these people are just cashing in. They don't care. Clearly, this is just... There's no real, like, passion involved from the people who are making the, the like, main decisions. Because mm. the people that do the sound and the people who do the visual effects and, and all that stuff, the people that AUT is paying, like, the higher-ups are paying... To, yeah, shout-out to, to the sound guy. Things, like they yeah exactly they do a great job and clearly care but i can't in good faith support the game when the people who make the design decisions for the game are just cashing in for a paycheck and just don't care mm. did sakura stand surpass it i have no fucking clue because <laughs> i didn't play any of the aut update i i tried to play the game when it let me and that's the last time i've booted it um my friend actually asked me to add that little bit to the end because they play sakura stand and they love sakura stand and i join and i go this is like 10 fps garbage i have a 40 60 ti and i can't run sakura stand mental stuff the game does not work I don't know how you can enjoy Sakura Stand. The game Trust just does me, not function. If there's, if there's anyone who understands the feeling of my friends are playing this and I don't get it, uh, we've got yeah. people in in like that I've known for years in the Arking server that still regularly play Blocks Fruit. So <laughs> I, I actually I get ban that. I actually ban Blocks Fruit players from my server. I, I just I just ban them. I, I don't I don't deal with it. <laughs> I, it's just not worth it, man. Same with YBA players these days. If anyone says they play YBA in my server and they're like those kinds of people, I just get rid of them. I don't even want them in there. It's funny because TCA has such like a small player count and so much of it is sort of directly related to, to me and my audience. It's the audience. Eclipse video game. Literally the Eclipse video game. You go in the servers and you just meet Eclipse fans. There are so many people like that are part of, of my gang that like mm. the idea of logging on to YBA and going into 1v1s and running into like someone from the Arkings was astronomically low. But I can reliably go on and record videos, and I'll probably run into someone for my gang. And that's so cool. Like, I know if we ever really get popular, that won't be a thing. But that's something that I think I'll always sort of hold with me. And it's also funny because sometimes I run into, like, my friends that I directly know. Like, I did, I, I don't know if you saw it, I did a video where I was using Made in Heaven without the stand, and I ran into one of my good friends. Oh, but yeah, running into, running into people I know and stuff like that. But it's also kind of funny because i obviously have like incognito um accounts and yeah. i have a whole bunch of them uh some of them uh, that have been leaked and stuff because i fucked up uh and sometimes people just guess it's me but there are a lot of times we're all like fight like the number one or number two or like close to top 10 people and like i'll win um like mm, a, a fair nah, amount of the win. time against these people yeah like I'll, I'll i will beat them but i can't really like say hey i beat you because i'm on my account and then i'll be talking in like the tca server or something and someone will be calling me trash for the 400th time and i just have to sit there and kind of take it when like i really want to be like i've beaten this person this person this person this person and they have like a thousand wins on the monthly leaderboard right now but that doesn't matter because like the current conversation right now is that uh, King Crimson is like ludicrously overpowered and I, I don't I, think yeah, it is. Yeah, I, I saw that video. He he just looks like a like an interesting decent power which you kind of just need to know what he does to be able to play against him. So maybe well, it's the that. thing that the thing that a lot of people get hot and bothered by is that he basically has three 
combo escape sort of moves. You have yeah, but that's uh, just kind of cream, cream epitaph. Cream, cream, it? That's like his thing. Yeah, exactly. That's the point. Yeah, but that, that's his his thing. epitaph, which dodges stuff. He has time erase, which dodges stuff, and time skip, which you can use to dodge stuff. Which basically makes King Crimson all but immune to um, true block break strings. Because if mm. you go for an M1 into a true block break you're either going to get time erased, epitaphed, or time skipped out, unless they've somehow used all of those resources. Yeah, but it makes him um, a really interesting character. You know, like a really and that, that's, different that's That's, that's kind of the guy. mindset that, that I go at it with. And then you'd think that the, the answer then would be, okay, well, I can't do this, which I would normally do against everyone else. So how do I sort of start mm. dealing with that? How do I evolve my gameplay? How do I get better? But that's the thing that I've seen with a lot of, I, I hesitate to, to say this, I'll put it in quotes, but like high level TCA players is they don't like the m trying to change up the meta and they don't like trying to work with what's given. They'd rather just change it to suit however they want it to be. Mm. So one of the things that I have to constantly explain is like fighting against someone, the, the one thing I was talking about last night is fighting against Killer Queen fucking sucks. It's not fun. Yeah. Uh, you get blown up over and over again. You get thrown into corners. Now, that being said, I don't advocate for nerfing or, or changing Killer Queen. And the reason that I don't is because, number one, it sucks, but it's not overpowered. And number two, because even if the vast majority of people don't like playing against that, it's not fair to just write someone's play style out of the game because you don't like it. Yep. You need to learn to to deal with that instead of just immediately jumping to how do we change this I mean, he's his so own even if it's you know? at the detriment of uh, even if it's like at the detriment of a, of a lot of people mm. having different ways to play even if you don't like them does shake up the formula and you can't have everything be the same yeah i mean this same conversation was had with Freezer in Dragon Fighter Z because he's a Zona character and they were like oh Zona does not belong in the game well he's not op and not very many people play him but it's an interesting playstyle for those players that do want to, you know, go with it. That's and, literally yeah. the example I was using when I was talking to people last night in in the the tester chat was like zoners because people fucking hate dealing. The vast majority of people cannot stand dealing with zoners in fighting games, at least from what I've seen, because it's just, annoying. Just better, you have to you know? deal with projectiles just, just all the time. Skill issue. You get in and then they fucking hit you back and run to the other side of the screen. But fighting games haven't delete like some have but for the most part fighting games don't just delete zoners out of their games because it's a way that you play mm. and they don't care that you don't like how you have to play against it optimally they say tough shit learn to play better mm. and at some point tough shit learn to play better obviously doesn't work because if something is so astronomically better and way easier because usually playing passively or, or playing a zoner is easier than than the other things. If it gets too far off of that one side of the spectrum, then you need to change things. But yeah. TCA balance as a whole is something that I think is is overly freaked out about because our balance is actually I think pretty it's, consistently I think it's yeah. in a very, very good spot. And so people will see one thing that's like slightly better than other things and they'll be like, we need to change this. And it's like, no, things are allowed to stay strong. Like one of the things that I personally don't really like about TCA uh, is kind of just the, the map and feel of when you're playing it. Uh, all the NPCs have got nothing to do with JoJo. Uh, for example, like the guy in the the restaurant, he like, kind of looks like you to be fair, doesn't he? They made, did, they, did they do that on purpose? With like the glasses and the... And, like, no. The... <laughs> nope. Yeah, I, I thought Not it was like an Eclipse reference. Know. Um, no, I don't think so. But there's that guy, there's the... Like in the boxing place, just some random guys. I, I, I know the storyline isn't the best. And YBAs wasn't either. YBAs, you know what? People that tell me they like the YBA storyline can go fuck themselves because you're lying. You are lying. You are lying. YBA storyline is terrible. It's not even a story. It's it's a glorified wiki page of what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. But I just think when you join TCA, all you think of, ah, oh, this map is based on YBA a little bit. Ah, oh, these are some random NPCs. Who is this guy? Oh, it's Angry Birds Man. Oh, I remember him from part twenty. <laughs> You know, I think TCA. To be in fairness to Angry Birds, man, it doesn't he's one of me, he's know? one of two enemy NPCs that is not directly JoJo related. But... I remember joining no, I, TCA I, I when it was that. Um, I remember joining TCA when it was that weird city, the like the overgrown city with 
you know, with it'd be constantly like made in heaven, sun fucking thing going over your screen. Oh, I'm, I'm epileptic. Yeah, when I first played it, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm a former epileptic, and I'm still a little like I, I'm, I'm now cleared, right? But I'm still cautious about would it come back. So I don't play games that have stuff like that. So I, that's why I didn't play TCA back then because I was like, am I gonna die? <laughs> Is TCA worth yeah, dying it was, for? It was really rough. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not fucking with that. But I just, I don't, I don't know how to put it. But even back then. It just felt like, oh, Jojo in the woods. <laughs> or this new one is just like, ah, there are Jojo characters in a YBA-like city on the water that has Freddy Fazbear's Pizza and the Angry Birds Man. And it just it just feels weird. It feels tacky. It feels cheap, you know? Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of get it. But on the other hand, I don't, I don't think it's that deep, I guess. I, I think... I agree with you in the fact that if it were up to me, I would not have all of the NPCs or a lot of them be people that are either on the staff team or were or friends of Peter's. That yeah. just I wouldn't do that personally. But on the other hand, I, it doesn't bother me to the point where like YBA uh, does it well. Where like some of the NPCs that do stuff like get rid of your getting rid of your spec is like Uzuki's friends. Sure. But making the direct storyline characters and stuff, or people that you you have to like talk to to get through the game and level up and stuff, be these random people and be these random things. I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of. Also, Dio being in the middle of the fucking mountain for some reason just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's like why I, is he there? I mean, where else are they gonna put him though? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's no room. I think I think TCA. I think I if if I if I could have my dream update for TCA right now, new map, new map. New, new story, I, new story. It, highly, yeah. the story and the map highly unlikely to get changed too much because the story Peter just fucking hates working on it. Um, there's right. a whole lot of a whole lot of Tom's contact me. I'll and, make it a day. And oh, it's old code, um, so it's it's hard to work with and and it, and change. And just generally speaking, it sucks. On top of the fact that trying to make anything sort of unique from that requires making new move sets and then stuff like that. So you basically have no choice but to reuse old ones. Um, it's it's not like the storyline fucking blows. It's no, really like, bad. No joke. If if Peter, I've never heard of the man's name before, but Peter would like help. That's the owner. I of am the I am very open to just like no pay. Just let me get in there. Let me change what I don't like, and I will happily do it for no money. <laughs> I will happily yeah, I just do it for I you. Don't... <laughs> he's, he's pretty uh, cagey with uh, letting anyone do stuff like that. So well, I could always just send unlikely. him. Like I could always just code it for him and then send him the RBXM like the the Roblox file. And then he could just well put it in. I mean, it's like yeah. Feel free to feel free to take that up with him. Uh, yeah, but... um, you have to give me like the the link for the Discord and that because I don't know where that is. But yeah, still. yeah, I can I can shoot that to you. Re recently, uh, you did talk with Archmage and he completely changed the game, right? In a lot of ways, like he completely did he. Changed. he what changed exactly? Because so I feel like there's there's, there's some you stuff that I heard it. about and I just never. I used and to get other stuff. That I, I never used to saw. get void walked five times every minute. And now I get void walked. Never, never. Well, what did they? What did they? You nerfed void walks. That? You you nerfed void walkers so hard that the player count for it dropped by ninety percent. But what did I do? I don't like. You made it easier to get was... in, which made people not feel okay. like it's special. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah, and I know that. You ch uh, one of the nerfs they did is made it so PVE is no longer as good as Void Walker, meaning you can only progress for PVP. And a lot of people are using Void Walker just to like teleport around the place. So people are like, oh shit, I can't PVP uh, PVE now. Back to Lone Warrior, right? Um, another thing is that Void Walking is way harder because it is now like the sound for people Void Walking you is now hearable from any distance, meaning you know when they appear and you can just leave. So a lot of people just go, all right, fuck Voidwalker. I'm telling people leaving. I'm not playing Voidwalker, right? That sounds like it didn't solve anything. That so, sounds like it did the opposite of what I wanted it to do. You pissed off every Voidwalker player under the sun. That's not my fault. You. That's not. They that's not what you. I no, they wanted blame you, to do. They blame you though. They blame you though, right? But I said the opposite. But I said the opposite of both those things. You're welcome. But because I did, I wanted the opposite. I said that leaving people leaving is lame, and that's stupid. Yep. Um. And I said that uh, I think that the penalties on Voidwalker in terms of PvE should not be as harsh. So that way it's not just constantly, if you're picking Voidwalker, you go out and killing people all the time. 
so that way more people use it to just teleport around rather than killing people, and then make the other origins have more unique stuff, so that way people would actually pick them instead of always picking the one where you can teleport around. That's the things I advocated for. I wanted the punishments for being void walked on lower, so that way when people do show up, you can just PvP with them and actually have fun without, like, getting frustrated yeah, over like, and over and over You don't again. lose a life when you die to a void walker. Like, something so like it that, sounds yeah. like they just did the opposite of everything well, that I said they They did the do. opposite. And it killed Voidwalker for the annoying people, the annoying children that would use it, and now just, like, the dedicated Voidwalkers, which are, not, are quite respectful. Like, if I don't want to die somewhere, or I haven't put down my guild base, I had Voidwalkers nowadays that let me put down my guild base before I fight them, so I could spawn there. Like, that's great, I love that. But, I'm ha I'm, ha I'm thankful, right? Because my friends, they didn't, they had Deep Woken, and they would not play it. Not in the sense they wouldn't play it, but they just didn't like it. They're like, oh, we get Voidwalked all the time, I lose my character to a Voidwalker suddenly. Gah. And now that there's no Voidwalker, my friends have been playing it every single day, and I can finally enjoy Deep Woken. So, thank goodness. God play well, that's God praise Lord that's, Clips. Thank that's you. the funny thing about the, the whole the whole Voidwalker thing, and, and the thing I think a lot of people that are more vocal in, in their community don't understand, and I'm sure I'll say this a hundred times and they still won't get it, but like, there's a lot of people who play who who struggle mm. like a lot um and not everyone is is you pvp is hard pvp <laughs> like, is hard man pvp is hard like pvp is hard and not only is pvp hard but pve for a lot of people is also hard it's easy uh because a lot I of people have been playing for so play. long and they they have like the understanding of exactly what you need to do and a lot of it is experience based so like hmm. for me, if I go into the depths nowadays, yep. the odds of me getting out are very, very high. Yeah, like, no. It's, Super easy. it's pretty much almost guaranteed. And a lot of people complain about that and they're like, it's too easy to get out of the depths. Funnily yes, it's enough, too easy to get out of the depths um, for you. But like enough, I, I actually beat Etheron the final boss of the game today. Like just before I called you. My, oh, for yeah? my first time, my first time ever beating yeah, it. Yeah, I still haven't and I it, still haven't yeah, done that. It was surprisingly really, really easy. <laughs> In a sense of, he's like, he's scary, and the way you, the reason you die to him is because you panic, right? And you're like, oh no, I'm going to lose my character. If you just go like, okay, this character is worthless, I don't give a shit, you win. It's it's really easy. I I, I, I know that we have different servers, but I think I'm okay on American servers. I, I will, I will, I can show you how to do layer two. I can show you how to do layer two. It's not... I've had so many people offer me to, to show me to No, two, no, trust me, like I've had people show me too. Of... People are really bad that's at teaching like def... it. That's like defeating the purpose of doing it, though. Yeah, you can do it the fun way. I, I can I can just be there as like a like a like you know like a, when you're learning how to swim you have uh, like I don't know like a life jacket or a, <laughs> like a rubber ring. I can be your rubber ring. You know, if something gets no, bad, I, I can know. I can just. I, ah. I mean, you had you you sent me a, a thing about deep woken mm. um, in like the sort of rough list of questions, and I don't really have a whole lot of interest in in really playing the game too much anymore. I, just I can't really fuck. explain. <laughs> What? I was just about to ask that question as well. Oh, okay, go ahead. Okay, I'll, I'll go ahead. Um, so, from some of your videos, it seems that you've been enjoying Deep Woken. Whether or not that's correct or not is not too important, but can you see yourself making more videos on Deep Woken? Like, an attunement review, or maybe some PvP potentially, or maybe even a progression series? And I, funny enough, I've actually wrote down what I think your answers will be for each one of those. <laughs> well, you'll find out how true it is, but... Um... I, I don't know. Will there be more Deep Woken stuff? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Probably, I would say. But for the most part, I think I'm I'm sort of done, which is weird because I don't usually get finished mm. with games where I'm just like, I'm. it's not like a, I'm done because I'm mad and it's not like a, I'm done because I feel like I can't progress anymore because I can experience way. It. I can definitely get way better mm. at the game for sure. And I could experience the rest of the stuff the game has to offer. But I'm sort of like content with the experience that I had. Like, and you I don't feel really like played enough to be like, okay, deep, that's my deep work, and I'm, I'm, I'm deep work. Yeah, and it's like I can, I can recommend the game to, to basically anyone. I can mm. say this is fun, and you will have a good experience with it. But after putting in like, I don't know, probably around, I want to say 40, 50 hours, so not like a super long time, but like a good amount of time. Uh, I, I've uh. played a good amount of the game. I've I've had fun with it, and I, I just when I think about like what would I do, that's where the problems sort of arise. Because there's a lot of things that I could do, but there's not a whole lot of things that I really want to do. I I, quite and I don't enjoyed know the, uh, why the fish, that is. Like I can't. I enjoyed the What's fish that? video. I enjoyed the fish video. 
I think it was just the funny. Fish video? I think the fish video was funny. The uh, the, the video where you just fish woke the fish, you know? yeah. yeah, fish woke yeah. I think that was actually no joke. That was one of the best Eclipse videos I've ever watched. Yeah, that one was fun. Uh, Your friend was I, I very cheated. very loud some... though. <laughs> there was some uh, some editing magic there where I took things out of order in order to make that work better. I but... do that all the time. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna play a whole lot more of it. It's it's a good game. Yes. Um, and I would recommend it to to basically anyone. It's it's hands down one of the best games on Roblox. Yep. But there's just something, and I don't know what it is that makes me not really want to play that much. And I, it, it's not like there's a whole lot of people I know already. There's going to be like seven people. I think uh, seven I out of the eight people from. who watch your video who mm -hmm. are going to be like, he's afraid of dying and yada, yada, yada. And and just leave like, it there. No. Seven or eight people are going to watch the video. <laughs> so you can leave it. <laughs> um, I think I understand where you're coming from, right? But when you say you've got 50 hours, I get this like feeling in the bottom of my throat where I, you know how you said you didn't really learn until someone helped you play? Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, I didn't get my help until 50 hours into the game. So I was still at lower Arisia at level 50. Uh, like 50 hours in, sorry. So I was still learning the game at 50 hours in. Like, Well, that's actually, that that's that's one of the things. Yeah, that's one of the things that I have also gotten a lot. Because obviously there's there's a shitload of people that are like, you're carried, you suck, you know, the usual stuff. Mm. Because I had people help me and had people like teach me how to do things. Yeah, deep but I don't think suck. they understand that, like the vast 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 majority of my playtime was by myself mm. like i don't think that that got across to people because they don't see me playing but like i logged on and played and learned things by myself for like after the point where i had basically been shown this is how you play the game by my friends mm. After that point, that's where most of my hours were clocked in by myself, testing out different builds, learning different enemies, trying out different things, wiping characters, like all that different stuff and, and trying to learn PvP and, and mostly failing miserably. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, it's like yeah, true. I, I've played a lot more by myself than I have with other people. And I don't mm. think people quite understand that. But layer two in of itself does not lend itself well to the systems that are in place. Because the only two options that are given to you are complete invulnerability or total loss of progress. Mm. Because you either use a light hook and you cannot die. Yep. Like, it means nothing. If you die, it means nothing, but it wastes your time and it's obnoxious. So you just eventually, if you're like me, you just can't be bothered because it's like yep. I'm literally sitting here doing nothing or finding something to waste my time for 20 minutes. Or you're not using a light hook, in which case punished death means the harshest punishment available with no, uh, what's the word for it? Yeah, this, no is, reprieve or anything. this is Archmage not really having the foresight to kind of understand the average player because he doesn't play his own game. He doesn't. He doesn't play with Eatbook, and he doesn't play his own game. Uh, just like Uzuki doesn't, you know. And a lot of, they don't really understand. I mean, a lot of people, people don't, have. and and I think that that's why, like sometimes, like Peter doesn't play a whole lot of TCA, obviously. But that's why the design team, I feel like, is so important. This mm. is, don't put this in the video. Here's the one thing that don't put this in the video. Thanks. So like Silver Chariot most recently had uh, Wait, Silver Chariot longer M1 range. What's that? They had it Silver Chariot. Yeah, the yesterday. I have not. I, oh, yes. Okay, that's why I don't know about it. When's the video? When's yesterday. the video? Yesterday. Uh, today. Oh, I Literally got... after I after I hang up with you. But Perfect. Silver Chariot in of itself, I've had a lot of problems with because uh, that's another uh, Peterism where there's like a mode shift basically mm. on Silver Chariot where it goes from the normal stand to all of your cooldowns are lower. Uh, the moves hit double but they don't do double damage it halves your damage but they hit double which makes some moves stun slightly longer and the wind-ups on your moves are faster so mm -hmm. it's not necessarily a direct upgrade but it is pretty much an upgrade and so it's sort of like gently weeps almost or or mm -hmm. any of those other sort of buffs yeah i mean I, i'm problem... guessing it works in like a burst so it doesn't last a long time no the problem yeah, is that bad. for some stupid fucking reason peter decided to make it so that this mode switch is tied to a long ass attack move so you have this big ass animation that plays and then there's an attack and then there's like a recovery period you're invincible for all of it thank god but it doesn't fit with the stand whatsoever because the entirety of the stand is based around 
poking people and low damage, low cooldown, and like fast moves. And then you have this out of nowhere, big ass, like it, the hitbox isn't even that big, but it takes forever. It locks you in place the whole time. It's just awkward. And the fact that it locks this mode switch behind it is so frustrating. And I complained about it the minute that it was added to the test server. I was like, we can't do this. This is fucking stupid. And I got pushback every step of the way, all the way up until release. And now here it is, and it's still the same shit, and it's so lame. And now if you're fighting against someone with time stop, you you can't use your other, like, your upgrade. You just can't. Because if you use it, they're just going to stand out of the range and go, Zoardo, over heaven, and then take 150 your health away. Jesus Christ. Like, yeah. it's just... It's so frustrating, and That's, I don't get it. The fact that you put in a character which is totally, totally a burst-style character, totally like a like a Goku Kaioken limited time mode, and you put it behind like a move that you can't land if you're versus certain people, and it lasts a while. It's not is, like it, weird. You don't even land it. It's like even if you don't land it, it's tied to using the move. What? So like even if you don't land it, which you won't, because it takes so long. Like I wish I could. Hang on, let me pull it up and stream it to you on Discord so I can see right. you know what I'm talking about. This shit is fucking stupid. It, it <laughs> sounds like, fucking stupid. It bothers me so much. But when you describe it to me, I'm just like, yeah. Why the fuck did you do that? <laughs> why the fuck did you do that? Are you stupid? You know what? I'll I guess I'll start doing TCA videos and I will try and see if I can get that up there Here, as well. Look at this. Uh, if there's two, if there's two YouTubers yelling at me, you may you may think about it a bit more. Username leaked. Oh my god! Uh, funny enough, I already right, have your so, username. And I was about to tell you what your username was. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah. this is so here's like this is one of the moves. That's uh, the yeah, like the, last the shot. Yeah. That's pretty quick. Here's another move. That's pretty quick. What does that do? Here's another one. Just, that's just pretty slices, quick. Or? This is pretty quick. Like all of these are moves. And then here's the move that I'm talking about. It I'm holding cool forward right now. It looks cool as fuck, but I think the the mode change on top of it is a bit much. It makes no sense. And so I kept suggesting things. And I Why not make that move, ignored. right? Why not make that move a move You're that about is only accessible inside of the, the mode? You're about to tell them what I told them. I get, me, get, me in, get me in DMs with the guy and I will tell him that I agree with every single thing I told. <laughs> well, I th I'll, everyone agreed with me in the design team. Yeah. He, just he just didn't want to change it. The problem is we have like the assets, right? And obviously, just like with Uzu, he doesn't want to pay for assets and then not use them. But, like, what I kept saying was, you can have this stupid, dumbass move nobody's ever going to use, right? It Leave cool. this as it is, and then have a different move that just, like, doesn't have an animation. It just has particle effects. Like, we have stuff like that. Yeah. 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 Nice. Um, right. That's uh, every question done, except for the very, very last one. Which uh -oh. was which was the funny question, which regardless of what you answer, is going oh, to boy. say yes on the video. Oh no, fuck! Because I have got so many random voice lines of you saying no, yes, and gun and no. stuff. Um, <laughs> that you are, There's another one. <laughs> you are saying yes to this regardless, and that is: oh, Is Row so Zero good. starting life in another world? The game made by Bizarre Studios, the greatest game you have ever seen in your entire life, and it has the full stamp. Of approval from the Eclipse channel. <laughs> he just left. <laughs> he just left. <laughs> Dom is my one like yeah, friend Dom, who Dom actively Ming, still that, plays. Yeah, yeah Dom, Dom Mining, the guy in one v ones. Yeah, he's the only alone. one who like. He's like the only one who actually plays uh, TCA outside Dom, of of when. Uh, we we go on to to play something or something mm. like that. They're in a staff VC right now. I think I've I have never Abe met Don Ming. I him. I want him to know that he is the reason that I stopped playing TCA one v ones. I want him to know. Did you he ruin? Was, did he ruin was, your life? It was him. He plays a lot of one v ones using weather report heavy weather, which ruined the fun for me. I was well, having fun I've got, beating I've got kids. bad. I've got even worse news for you then, because I don't think Dom's ever beaten me. Jesus <laughs> so. Christ. And that's just annoying because I was doing my like standless builds most of the time, but still I just don't like it. I don't like how he plays. It's like I can't believe he's so using annoying. Wet, heavy weather. That's heavy crazy. Weather. I don't know heavy if I've weather. ever seen him use heavy it, weather. It was like it, it was like he just tiptoes around me, not letting me get close enough. He was using something that lets him like go faster than me, I guess. And 
He was just keeping out of my range. Oh, the cloud the suit where you the jump cloud higher. Suit. Yep, and I that's just, what it is. <laughs> I, I was chasing him. I'd get hits, and then he would just get away so far, heal all that, come back. And then if I fucked up for five seconds, like if I got block broken once, boom, 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 any health. I think that was running. pre, that was probably pre weather report getting pretty, or heavy weather getting pretty gutted. It was gutted. so fucking annoying you did not understand that actually makes a lot oh more my sense God, yeah genuinely. no weather report used to have like a 150 hp free auto combo yes that's it that exact combat. that exact amount of damage yes yeah, that doesn't that exist anymore yeah that, thank goodness i will gone be playing for a while. again tomorrow i will play again tomorrow anyway i need, I need, to, I need to wrap up Oh my god, uh, okay, so I've just got a awful message from a random YouTube guy that says, Hey Bazaar, trying to slide me YT rank for row zero. How has, how has anyone even heard of it? I haven't promoted it, I barely promoted it. You talked it. about it just now. I did just talk about it. <laughs> there I, you go. You're one of the only people that you. know that, all, all, other than my Discord members, you are one of the only people that know that exists. Who, who is this? He doesn't even have his, like, YouTube I actually just took thing. a screenshot of, of the Discord video from earlier, and I've posted it on my, uh... On my channel. Which Discord no. video? <laughs> it's a community post. Look, this game, go harass him. No. Uh, this game, go harass him. Yeah, real. Um, But um, yep. I just looked at my own community tab instead of your community tab. I am stupid. It's not there. I, I'm oh, bullshitting. Okay, you're bullshitting me. <laughs> Obviously, I, I didn't gonna, do I was that. just going to be like, hold up a second. Please don't give me too many, too much attention until I, I, the game is actually kind of okay. Um, It's like, it's okay. You know what? In all honesty, the content it has is like maybe lower Aresia level at the moment, which that's is not, not too bad. That's, that's not too bad. It's got like combat. It has a few weapons, has a few things. It's it's yeah, but the problem is the map is fucking huge, and I, I want to tone it down, but I want to keep it accurate as well. So it's like really hard to design something that looks the same but doesn't actually play as big as the actual place in the anime. Um, yeah. Like, it's like you know when you do you do like a battlefield video and you know in your head okay this isn't gonna do YBA yeah, views. Yeah, no, I get it's it. It's like that. It's like I just have to do it because I want to. My game will get less players than TCA at its lowest, but at least I've made a game. At least I've published something because I do make games. I just never publish them, and I want something yeah. to be like oh I played a bizarre game at least maybe, um, or I just go back to making that JoJo one and make a TCA clone. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean. Nothing more to say, really.